friends. What is up? Good morning and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the wild and woolly world of nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be. But you don't know where to begin. You have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable. And you know that you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls on the bright side. 844-236-6010. If we've left you on hold in the past, please call in early. We'll try to get to as many calls as possible. 844-236-6010 is our number. I know we left a couple of folks on hold yesterday. If you're listening, uh, call our, tell our call screen and we left you on hold. We'll get you first up. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can head over to brightsideben.com, order products right off the website. You can also head over to pharmacistben.com and order products off the website as well. That's my blog that I set up with Robert Lundgren. Thank you, Robert, for doing such a fine job at PharmacistBen.com. we got news stories, blog posts, as well as the longevity products. And, of course, you can always sign up to join me in my mission to educate the world about how important and how powerful a good nutritional supplement program can be. Just click on the Join the Team link at PharmacistBen.com or BrightSideBen.com or CriticalHealthNews.com or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. If you're in the Sacramento or Modesto or Santa Cruz area, I'll be doing some talks for my buddy Sherrod and Justin Baker in Santa Cruz and Modesto and Sacramento coming up Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Love to see you out there. Call 866-735-2470 if you more, want more information. If you live out in the Santa Cruz or NoCal or Sacramento area, 866-735-2470. We'll talk about the simplicity of health, and we'll also talk longevity as well. Okay, thanks for joining us on the Bright Side. We're talking skin and skin health. Nothing says scammery more than the silly, silly products that you see out there purporting to create changes, permanent changes, health changes, anti-wrinkles, anti-aging, topical skincare products. Listen up, guys. With the exception of vitamin A, retinol, and retinoic acid, and fat-soluble vitamin C, and low pH acid type of products like vinegar, red wine, glycolic acid, lactic acid, which we're going to talk about here in the coming days, there's very little you're going to be able to do to create a permanent, real, lasting health change on the skin by using topical products. It is such an egregiously nasty business. And this is why marketers and bookkeepers and bankers and people who know nothing about skincare are all over the skincare world because there's lots of money to be made, and that's not fair. Healthcare and skincare go hand in hand, the way I look at it as a healthcare professional. If you've got messed up skin, you got messed up health. The skin is an organ of the body. We all know that. We all say that. Everybody in the skincare world says the skin is the body's largest organ. That means the skin's an organ. It's like the liver or the bones or the, liver or the lungs or the spleen or the intestines or any other organ of the body. But for some reason, we think it's okay to be manipulated and tweaked and have our, have our uh, money extracted from us using products that purport to create changes, purport to be healthy uh, health products on the skin when they do nothing of the kind. Yesterday we deconstructed Hydra Boost. We said 90% of this product is water, 85 to 90%. How do I know it? I've been formulating for 30 years, folks. 
And when I see an ingredient deck, I know what's in it. There ain't no secrets on ingredient decks to cosmetic chemists. We all know what these things are. The only secrets are to the consumers who are spending their hard-earned dollars on these products. Now, fortunately, this one particular product is not expensive, but that's not the point. It's 80 to 90 percent water, and then you run into silicon and glycerin. By the time you get into the active ingredient, you're way down on the ingredient deck. As we said yesterday, ingredient decks are list the ingredients on ingredient decks are listed from highest concentration to lowest concentration. If you see your active ingredient after the fragrance and after the preservatives and after the thickener, what's that telling you? There's hardly anything in it. That's just not right. So we're talking about hyaluronic acid, which I absolutely love. From a water-soluble perspective, there's very little, it's hard to come up with an ingredient that's more multifunctional, more important for skin health, for the health of the body, really, than hyaluronic acid. Now, in the world of fat-soluble ingredients, there's lots of important stuff, cholesterol, vitamins, uh, vitamin A, vitamin D. These are all fat-soluble materials, essential fatty acids. Some of the hormones, they're fatty materials, and they're very important for the skin. But when it comes to water-soluble materials, hyaluronic acid is the stuff. There is very little that you can put inside your body that has more functionality and less toxicity and more importance to the body than hyaluronic acid. It's a building substance. It's an anti-aging substance. It initiates the growth of cells. It gives cells the ability to absorb water. Much of the aging is caused by, or much of, many of the signs of aging are caused by cells losing their water. Hyaluronic acid helps hydrate cells, helps give water cells, has a plumping property. It plumps up tissue, not just cells, also the tissue around the cells. It's a key, key player in the structural integrity of the body, in the structural integrity of the eyes, in the structural integrity of the lungs, in the structural integrity of the intestines, in the structural integrity of the joints, in the structural integrity of the skin. It is part of the body's connective tissue, which means it's critical for helping hold everything in place in the body. The body's 30% or so connective tissue. If you want to know what connective tissue is, think of jello in a mold, jello in a uh, fruit mold. If you ever put fruit in jello and made a little jello mold, then you have a, a, a kind of idea, representation of what connective tissue is like in the body. Connective tissue holds all the fruit in place. The body fruit, the organs. When you have a prolapse or you have a hernia, your jello's breaking down and your fruit is hanging, so to speak. Got to work on a better metaphor than that, but I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Aging is in many ways a connective tissue phenomena. The jello breaks down. From an observ observable physical perspective, when you see an older person, you're seeing jello that's broken down. That's what, the sh that's what the shrinking is about. You know how older folks shrink and shrivel and hunch over? That's a connective tissue issue. Connective tissue issue. You're looking at connective tissue breaking down. Hernias, prolapses, wrinkles, bones dissolving and weakening and becoming more porous. These are connective tissue problems. The intestinal lining starts to break down. We shrivel up. My mom is now four foot eleven. She went from being five foot five to four foot eleven. She lost six inches. And now she's eighty-five years old. It happens to all of us if we're not taking care of ourselves. We shrink, we shrivel. Our bodies shrink and shrivel. Wrinkles are the skin shrinking and shriveling, and it's all connective tissue problems. These are all manifestations of the same phenomena, connective tissue breakdown. Wrinkles are osteoporosis of the skin. Osteoporosis are wrinkles of the bone. Fine lines are hernias of the skin. Hernias are fine lines of the, of the diaphragm or whatever, wherever you have a hernia. Crow's feet are prolapsed skin. All it's the same stuff. And it all means that the same kind of strategies for building bones, building joints, are going to be important for preventing hernias, preventing prolapses, and reversing or preventing wrinkles. That means you just can't rub a cream on your skin unless it's vitamin A and vitamin C, which are vitamins, and accelerate the, 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 the chemical processes that are important for production of fibers. Aside from vitamin A and vitamin C and acid, which is also stimulating, and we're going to talk about all this here later, you can't just rub wax and oil on the skin in a form of a skincare cream and expect to get wrinkle control or expect to reverse wrinkles. Unless you're using retinol, retinoic acid, fatty vitamin C, and some kind of low pH substance, acidic substance. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Got lines open for you. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. All right. 
right, we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. We got a full board, and I'm going to get to our calls here momentarily because uh, I don't want to leave anybody on hold. I hate leaving you guys on hold. So hang tight. We'll get your calls here momentarily. I just want to finish up a couple of things. 844-236-6010 is our number. When you hear us, uh, when we finish up with a call, you can call in. 844-236-6010. If you're interested in joining my mission to help spread the word about how important a good nutritional supplement program can be, and if you want to make a little money doing it, Please join the Brightside Ben team. You can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. They can tell you all about it or head over to pharmacistben.com or brightsideben.com and sign up right from the website. If you're in NoCal, Sacramento, Santa Cruz, San Francisco, or Modesto, I will be doing several talks this weekend for my friend Sherrod and Justin Baker in Santa Cruz. Please call 866-735-2470 if you're out there, if you're in uh, the NoCal area and you want more details, 866-735-2470. All right, so I got an email here. Do you know your facial skin cells? Re I, I don't like calling people out. I'm not going to tell you who this is, but this is a, a, an ad that I got about uh, eliminating wrinkles by using two Swiss plants. Swiss plants that keep growing and growing and growing almost indefinitely. This is the latest strategy in the really nasty skincare business. Really nasty. Apparently... Uh, the implication is that if a plant keeps growing and growing and growing, if you use an extract of that plant, that's going to make your wrinkles go away. This is what this lady, uh, Angela Salerno, says from INH Health Watch. Don't fall for it, people. And she has the nerve. It's not her. I don't even know if she exists, but uh, whoever's sending me these emails. Wrinkle depth reduced by 8% in just 14 days. Are you kidding me? 8% wrinkle depth? What does that even mean? How do you measure 8% wrinkle depth? Oh, you look at somebody's face. Looks like your wrinkles have, have uh, improved by 8%, Sally. Oh, what does that even mean? This is the nastiness of the skincare business. Folks, if you got wrinkles, you got fine lines, you got aging skin, you have a health issue, and you're not going to be able to improve it unless you take care of the health of the body. This is why retinol and vitamin C are so important because they take care of the health of the body and they take care of the health of the skin. You want to upregulate your hyaluronic acid. Love that word, upregulate. You want to increase hyaluronic acid, upregulate hyaluronic acid, prevent wrinkles. Well, you're going to do the same thing that you do to protect your joints and to protect the connective tissue inside your body. And oh, by the way, your blood vessels are also made up of connective tissue. So you'll prevent strokes and aneurysms and keep your blood flowing better as well. What you want to do is you want to upregulate or stimulate your body's ability to make its own hyaluronic acid, and there's zillions of ways to, ways to do that. One of my favorite longevity products is the glucogel caps. Well, guess what, you guys? The glucogel caps will stimulate and turn on hyaluronic acid production. So not only are the glucogel caps anti-arthritis and important for joints, they're also anti-wrinkle and they'll protect your skin from wrinkling. And the raw material in the uh, glucogel caps will actually turn on hyaluronic acid production. That's why I love nutrition so much. It's so multifunctional in addition to being non-toxic. There's all kinds of ways that you can upregulate your own hyaluronic acid production. Save your money. You don't need your Hydra Boost. You don't need your hyaluronic acid cream. Just make sure you're using retinol. Make sure you're using fat-soluble vitamin C. And make sure you're doing all the things you need to do internally to build up connective tissue. We'll continue this discussion tomorrow on the Bright Side. I want to get to our phones. 844-236-6010. Rose in Virginia. What's going on? My patient friend. How you doing? Good morning. Rose. Hi, hi uh, Ben. This is Rose. I'm sorry. Yes. Steve left the message because I had an emergency. What's I up? just wanted you to continue, please. Uh, oh, we were talking cancer, weren't we? Brain cancer? cancer. We were talking brain cancer. And, yeah, I understood what you said because you know that I'm a very strict hearing your show every day because okay. I want to be educated with the truth. Okay. okay, here's the deal, my dear. And everybody out there, cancer obviously is a serious issue. You know, half a million to a million people are going to uh, uh, be diagnosed. Or, or I think the death rate on cancers now is about half a million or 700,000 people per year. It's, it's pretty, it's the second leading cause of death after heart disease. So it's serious business, okay? Obviously. Cancer is a sign that cells have been burdened and don't know what else to do. A cancer cell, cancer, cancerous tissue is the result of cancerous cells. Cancerous cells accumulate and you end up with cancerous tissue. We're always getting cancerous cells here and there, but the body can usually handle it. Once cancer appears, it's a sign that the body has been distressed for a long time. So the way you deal with cancer is not by killing the cancer. 
This is the medical model. And if you're using herbs to kill cancer, Essiac and sheep sorrel and chaparral, there's lots of herbs that purport to kill cancer. I haven't heard of a lot of people who've gotten their cancer cured by using chaparral or, or, uh, or any of these other herbs, herbal materials. Uh, there's one, there was a formula called Hoxie, and there was another one called Essiac. And, and they're good. They're anti-cancer. They kill cancer cells. But killing cancer cells isn't how you take care of cancer. Number one, your cancer cells are your cells. So you're killing yourself. Number two, cancer cells live in a cancerous environment. Yes, it's genetics, but the genetics respond to the environment, the environment that the cell is wallowing in, is sitting in. Cancerous cells, or a cell will turn cancerous when it is toxic, when it is starved, and when it is robbed of oxygen for a long period of time. If you want to reverse cancer, you've got to change the environment that the cell is sitting in. That means, number one, reducing toxicity, and sugar counts as a toxin. Toxicity tends to be acidic, and cancer cells love acid. So reducing toxicity, this is why fasting is so important. It's the best way to reduce toxicity. It's the best way to cleanse, is the fast. Do a swear of e cleanse. Make sure you're fasting intermittently or regularly. Reduce your calories. Caloric restriction is another great strategy for dealing with cancer. Certainly sugar, zero tolerance, and that includes refined carbohydrates and flours and cereals. Zero tolerance. Make sure you're using... Nutrients that help your body handle sugar. The sweeties, for example, chromium, vanadium, magnesium, the B vitamins, niacin. These are all very, very important for helping the body handle sugar. Way better strategies for dealing with cancer than an herb that kills cancer cells. Making sure you restrict your intake of sugar is a powerful anti-cancer strategy, a powerful anti-aging strategy, a powerful anti-wrinkle strategy, a powerful bone-building strategy, a powerful wound-healing strategy. You see how simple this is, you guys. Wound-healing is anti-cancer. Bone-building is anti-cancer. Muscle-building is anti-cancer. Fasting is anti-cancer. The same strategies that keep us young and keep us healthy, keep wrinkles at bay, help us build bone, help us build muscle, help us look good, help us feel good, are anti-cancer. You don't need a special anti-cancer strategy. You need a special health any more than, uh, what you need is a health strategy, not an anti-cancer strategy. Uh, an overall anti-aging strategy and anti-cancer strategy is an overall health strategy. Of course, controlling the digestive uh, food or, or improving digestive functioning is also anti-cancer. That means probiotics, the good bacteria, fermented food, fiber, Digestive enzymes are ridiculously important for helping protect against cancer. Nicholas Gonzalez treats cancer or treated cancer with pancreatic enzymes. And of course, deep breathing techniques, blowing off carbon dioxide, make sure you're, pra you're practicing deep breathing techniques, yoga, meditation, activating the parasympathetic nervous system. This is why I do this program, you guys. Fighting cancer requires the same strategies as fighting autoimmune disease or protecting from autoimmune disease. Fighting cancer requires the same strategies as building bone, building muscle, anti-aging strategies. It's all the same thing. You reduce stress. You eliminate uh, 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 digestive distress. You eliminate sugar stress. You eliminate the stress of lack of oxygen. You eliminate mental stress, emotional stress. You relax the body. You make sure you're getting your mighty 90 essential nutrients. You reduce your intake of refined carbohydrates. It's all the same thing, you guys. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll take a break and continue when we come back from, uh, from this commercial. Don't go away. We're back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got a line open for you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program or recommended on the program, head over to brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. And you can also call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Okay, so we lost Rose. Uh, cancer is a, hyped up, uh, 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 is a state of hyperactivity in the body. Cells are dividing at a rapid rate. This is one of the ways they compensate for toxicity, a lack of energy. By dividing rapidly, that's all they know how to do in order to utilize energy and to get nutrition. 
So you got to calm the body down. That's the solution to cancer. That's how you prevent cancer is by calming the body down preventatively. But if you have cancer, you got to calm the body down. The fastest way to calm the body down is by making sure it's oxygenated. The body's oxygenated, blowing off carbon dioxide in the exhale, exhalation, inhaling oxygen. That calms the body down. Slow, deep breathing. Intermittent fasting or fasting calms the body down. Reducing the intake of sugar calms the body down. Certainly mental strategies, emotional strategies, meditation, relaxation, activating the so-called healing system, the parasympathetic nervous system with hot baths, massages, yoga. All of these are strategies for calming the body down. The body likes a little bit of energy, a little bit of stress, a little bit of activity, and lots of long, luscious rest. If you've got cancer, it becomes even more important to calm the body down. You guys, this is not complicated. I want this message to be empowering. Sure, we rip on skincare companies, we rip on drug companies, we rip on the medical model. But at the end of the day, we have so much power to reverse degenerative disease, to prevent degenerative disease, to prevent cancers. We have so much control. Diabetes is an eating disease, yet 100 million plus Americans are dealing with it. And it's an eating issue. We have so much volition, we have so much choice in how our body breaks down or it doesn't break down. I want this to be an empowering message here every day. That's why I call the program The Bright Side. We have so much control over our body, our health, our appearance when it comes to the skin as well. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Wally in Texas. What's up, buddy? Welcome to The Bright Side. Uh, ben, first yes, of all, sir. the phone number on your site is wrong. Which one? The one that's on there. The one you're going over there with is correct. That's how come I'm talking to you. Uh, uh, 844-236-6010 is correct, right? Yeah, yeah, that's working perfect. Now, I need, I just want to get that to you. Okay, now, two things, all right? Yes, uh, this al aluronic acid, uh, do you get that from bone soup? Yes, sir. How'd you know that, Wally? I was going to talk about because that tomorrow. I have turned into a bone, chicken leg <laughs> bone soup freak. I, I take <laughs> wire cutters and cut the bones in two so the marrow is more exposed. Damn, you, oh, that's awesome, Wally. Good job. Are you a farmer? No, I'm an aircraft mechanic. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's still clever, well, man. Uh, awesome. Also, also you, uh, let me just say uh, one okay. thing, Wally. Wally, let me just say yeah. one thing, and then I'll let you go on. Do the same thing with the cartilage, with the knobby part. Slice it up. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, slice it up with your cutters, and you'll get yeah. more. Uh, increase the surface area. Oh, oh All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. and you'll get yeah, more. I will. Yeah. Okay, good deal. I absolutely will. All right. Uh, so, uh, and then uh, also uh, uh, fasting. What yes. is the combination to fast the easiest? Stop eating is the fast is the best way. I, if you can't, I know. But what about chia seed and uh, seed? You know, RN? it's all good. It's all good. You can do some chia seed. You can do some bone soup. You could do lemon juice. You could do celery juice. The point is to give your digestive system as much of a break as possible. To one calm day the body a week, down. I was going to set aside one twenty-four you, hour period. Dude, it's going to change your life, Wally. It probably the, the the bone soup already probably changed your life. But when you throw oh, in a, a what have you noticed? What have you noticed with the well, bone soup? I just, it's an ongoing process of pounding on these, focusing on these items that I know help me. And, and, and I work a lot, so I'll get sidetracked and I'll eat at McDonald's, you know, and I'll say, oh, no. You know, then I'll, I'll, I'll blow that off and I'll go, you know, it's, it's a, I do what I have to do, but I, I even feed my great game bone soup. It's perfect. Great for animals, for carnivores. They love it. Are you working outside doing your aircraft mechanic stuff? Well, yeah, and then also I uh, race goats and sheep. I'm a busy guy. Carry a thermos with you. Carry a little thermos bottle with bone soup in it and just sip on okay. it throughout, throughout the day. It'll give you nourishment throughout the day. It'll give you energy throughout the day. You'll be anti-wrinkling and you know, protecting your bones from breaking down and anti-aging, all the good stuff. Just carry it with you. And, it, and you can fast with it, too. You can use it in the middle of the day when you're fasting if you really want to. Oh, I'll do that. I'll good do deal. That. Good deal, man. Thanks for your call. Appreciate it. Thanks for sharing that. Take care. All right, brother. That's a great idea. I mean, if, you, if you have cutters, cutting the bone up and cutting the cartilage up, that'll get you more surface area, and you'll dissolve more of the good stuff into the water, into the soup. Good idea, Wally. Thanks for that. I love my smart listeners. All right, let's move to uh, Utah. Talk to David. Welcome to the Bright Side, David. What's up? Uh, yeah, I have uh, questions. Uh, 
the one that's concerning me the most right now is uh, dizziness, like vertigo. Okay. And it's especially uh, prevalent when I'm doing upper body exercise and I lay down to do bench presses. Okay, yeah, that's called spinning. That's and, and got it. Yeah, yeah. Visually moves. That's not necessarily vertigo. That's uh, it sounds to me like something called orthostatic hypotension, which is a fancy way of saying your blood vessels are not opening and closing correctly, and you move your body around and you get uh, you get low blood pressure, and that's what causes the dizziness. Vertigo is more like when you're dizzy all the time. Uh, oh, what, you're okay. exper- what, what you're experiencing is very, very common with folks who have adrenal problems. And if you're drinking a lot of coffee or if you're salt deficient, uh, if you're under some stress, if you have sugar, blood sugar problems, when you lie down and then get up quickly, uh, or if you're sitting down and get up quickly, you'll get dizzy. That's called orthostatic hypotension. Just a fancy way of saying when you sit down or stand up, uh, or, or you stand up from a sitting position or a lying position, you feel dizzy. It can happen when you're weightlifting especially if you're drinking coffee before you go to the gym. So here's what you want to do. First and foremost, you want to start doing some Celtic sea salt in water. First thing in the morning, maybe, a little bit of Celtic sea salt in water and sip on it. If you're like most folks, the first couple of sips are going to be super delicious. And then over the course of a few sips, it'll be less and less delicious. That's first and foremost. The second thing is slow, deep breathing before you stand up or before you, uh, before you stand up from a sitting position or a lying down position. Do some slow, deep breathing. And that will also help with the a circulatory system and protect your adrenal glands as well. A couple other strategies for adrenal health in addition to the oxygen, in addition to the salt. Vitamin C is super duper important for the adrenals. Make sure you're sipping on your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Zinc is the most important mineral for the adrenal glands and zinc deficiency is very common. Just get yourself on a zinc picolinate supplement, 50 milligrams a day. Might want to balance it out with copper. Make sure you're using the Healthy Start Pack that gets you your Mighty 90 essential nutrients. And then a couple other things, if you can get some vitamin B12 shots, the adrenal glands use vitamin B12, um, a significant amount of vitamin B12, and many people are vitamin B12 deficient, especially if you have digestive health issues. In fact, the entire B complex is very important for the adrenals, along with vitamin C. Iodine next to zinc, and uh, iodine and magnesium next to zinc are very important for adrenal health. You'll get that in the Healthy Start Pack, of course. Seafood is a good source of iodine. And then if you have any kind of uh, uh, blood sugar issues, make sure you're weaning yourself off of refined carbohydrates and sugars. It wouldn't hurt you to throw in some of the sweeties as well. And of course, if you have digestive problems, you gotta correct those as well. So David, most importantly to understand is you got an adrenal health issue. It's not vertigo, it's the adrenal glands and probably the thyroid is involved at this point also. Usually when the adrenal glands are breaking down over the course of time, the thyroid will pick up the slack and, uh, from all that adrenal activity and slow down itself. That's called hypothyroidism and one of the main reasons why the thyroid become thyroid action becomes suppressed is because of adrenal fatigue or excess adrenal activity so you'll notice your thyroid health is improving too all right we're back on the bright side i'm pharmacist ben eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number a few more things for david are you there buddy david in utah I am vertigo here. Thyroid. All right, so you're going to find that you, uh, once you start working with the thyroid, you're going to, or with the adrenal glands, you're going to improve thyroid health as well. There's a really important relationship between the adrenal glands and the thyroid. The adrenals are your emergency energy glands, among other things, and your thyroid is your regular energy gland. When you're running on adrenal energy and you're burning out your adrenal glands, and which it sounds like is happening to you, eventually the thyroid will start to compensate for all that jittery kind of excitable energy that the adrenal glands provide and it will start to slow down. So one of the major reasons why we deal with hypothyroidism is following adrenal stress. So once you start stabilizing the adrenal glands, you're going to notice uh, that your thyroid health improves as well. And a couple more things, by the way, for the adrenals in addition to the B complex, B12, zinc, vitamin C, mineral, salt, uh, magnesium. Uh, There's a really cool nutritional uh, supplement. It's not a nutritional supplement, but it's a supplement called Pregnenolone, which has wonderful, wonderful adrenal properties, adrenal health properties. Uh, It's non-toxic. It's just super, super supplement. It's not nutritional. It's a hormone or a a pre, well, it's a type of hormone. Uh, and it gets converted into other hormones. You can also use something called DHEA, 100 milligrams of pregnenolone or 10 milligrams or so of DHEA. Or there's another, there's a specialty form of DHEA called 7-keto DHEA. 
uh, 10 milligrams or so of the DHEA or 100 milligrams or so a day of the pregnenolone. That's great for hot flashes for women, also great for any kind of adrenal health issues. It's just a great supplement in general. Does that help you, David? Uh, yeah, I will start on that. Yeah, my, uh, I just had blood test done, and the, the uh, free T3 is at 3.4, which is a normal range. Uh, the free T4 is don't, don't, you know, those are just Those numbers are silly. They don't know what a normal range is, David. Nobody has any idea. They take curves. They take statistics. And you're not a statistic, David. You're a human being. There's no human statistics. Okay, right. You know what I'm saying? They do these things with metrics and statistics so you can be drugged and you can be coded and you can be put into the system. But it has nothing to do with your personal health. You know, this is the problem I have with diagnostics. And this is the problem I have with so-called alternative practitioners that use diagnostics. They have this new thing called functional medicine. You've got doctors testing and testing. And Quest Diagnostics, right. the company that does most of the testing, is a multi-billion dollar company because doctors want to test. Testing is for people who don't understand how the body works. If your doctor needs to test you, he needs to go back to medical school to understand how the body works. If you have vertigo okay, so or... How, how do, you know, how would I judge this relationship between the uh, thyroid and the adrenals? Don't worry about it. Work on your adrenals. Let the thyroid take care of itself. You work on the adrenal oh. glands. All right? That means stress. Okay. The, the, the synonym right. for the adrenal glands is your stress glands. They do other things as well, but you can for most for most of us, if we have an adrenal problem, we got too much stress in our lives. And I'm not just talking about emotional or mental stress, as important as those are. Physical stress. Sugar is a stress to the adrenal glands. Digestive uh, issues I've, are a str I've stress to the adre that adrenal out glands. Okay, well you're on the right track, but you know what I'm saying here. Calm the body down. Deep breathing, right. eliminate sugar, nutritional supplements, etc. Thank you, David. I appreciate your call, man. Take care, uh, bro. Oh shoot. David, call back. I apologize. I hung up on you. My apologies. 844-236-6010. If you're still listening, Dave, we'll get you right up. All right, Frank in Indiana, what's up? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, Pharmacist Ben. I, have to, uh, two, I got two things I wanted to cover. Number one, I wanted to sincerely, deeply thank you. I called several weeks ago. I have the 16-year-old son with the severe acne. Okay. He had it since he was 13 years old. I mean, okay. it, it was really, really severe. My wife had him on for years, that clindamycin and all that stuff, and was using Hate that um, stuff. The, me too, and the, the probiotic. I made a deal with my son. I said, Freddie, here's what we'll do. Give me three weeks, just three weeks, just do what I'm telling you to do. I was willing to take a chance. I did what you, you gave me a list. I, there's two or three items I haven't gotten a hold of yet. But pharmacist Ben, I am not kidding you. I don't know you, so I want your audience to realize I'm not a plant. In three weeks, my son's face is pretty much cleared up. His girlfriend noted, everybody Praise has noted. Praise God. That's beautiful. Frank, I you think so I, I just fell off the turnip truck, buddy? I've been doing this 30 years. I've seen this over and over again. God bless you for sharing, though. That's really and now, important. Guess to what? My daughter, who's always criticizing me, she's a freshman in college. Um, she's now interested. So you really have helped me. I mean, We're I, changing I'm lives. Really... Thank oh, you, my Frank. God. Pay it forward. Tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. Pay it forward. Just like you took care of the acne, you could do it with arthritis. You could do it with autoimmune disease. This is what I'm telling you guys. The body's a healing system. You give it the right, right. stuff. You remove the wrong stuff. It's as simple as that. There's no. You could have gone to dermatologists till the kid was 80 years old, and they would have done nothing for him except give we him did. more drugs. My, my wife did. My wife was taking him, and this is what was going on for for the last three years. I'm I'm telling you, we have saved a ton of money too. Thank you. Ash. Thank you for sharing that. I really appreciate. But, it. Frank. But number How can two, we help the you? Uh, number two, the, and, I, and I'll let you go because I ain't got callers. Hyaluronic acid. Um, you know, my wife, my my wife and I has a little bit of a hair issue, okay. and they're they're talking about this DH four or whatever, and they're talking about is. topically applying hyaluronic acid. Is she losing her hair? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, How old is she? A, she's only forty-five. Well, that's kind of young. Where is she in her menstrual cycle? Is she perimenopausal, or she still got periods? She's menopausal. I just... She's menopausal. Okay, so here's what here's what the problem is. You want to work with the adrenal glands and the thyroid, just like with uh, okay, just like with our last caller. So if you want to go over the archives, I gave I gave I our will. last caller a bunch of good information. That's the same idea. Women will start to lose their hair through as as they go through menopause and their hormones start to change. So what you want to work it with is the adrenal glands and the thyroid. Here's the thing about menopause. Okay. When, you, when a woman is young, she's making her female hormones in her ovaries. When she goes into menopause, ovarian production of hormones stops, and the adrenal glands pick up the slack. This is how nature intended it. So the adrenal glands are making the hormones that the ovaries used to make. However, in our crazy, nutritionally deficient, stress-filled 21st century lifestyle uh, 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 lives, 
the adrenal glands are so burnt out from stress and from sugar and from doing all the work they're doing to help us deal with our crazy lives, they can't make the estrogen and the progesterone and the fertility and youth and reproductive and, and growth and repair hormones and the hair will start to, and the skin for that matter, will start to suffer. So what you want to do when you're losing your hair as you get older into menopause is you want to regard that as an adrenal and thyroid issue. It's not a drug issue. And any boneheaded medical professional that tells you to rub something on your scalp, whether it's hyaluronic acid or anything else to make your hair thicker, needs to go back to medical school to figure out how the hormone system works. So uh -huh. here's what you need to do, Frank. Focus okay. on the adrenal glands. Just like with the last caller, number one, if there's any kind of stresses in the system, psychological stresses, mental stresses, emotional stresses, those need to be worked with. I'm not going to say eliminate because, you know, we live in a crazy world. So you're not going to eliminate it uh, necessarily, but you want to start to reduce those kinds of stresses. Number two, sugar represents a major stress on the body, and that includes bread and pasta and rice and cereal, et cetera. So restricting your intake of these fast-burning sugars, fruit juice it's, is, is, and sweets, of course. Can, that can that goes without quick, saying. Sure. Just, cut you, just for a second, you know, um, we, we kind of come from an Italian tradition, and it's really hard uh, to hear the cutout pasta, you know. And, uh, and then, <laughs> then, then reduce it. Then reduce okay. it. And after okay. pasta, drink lots of water. If you drink lots of water after pasta and rice and potatoes, you're going to dilute your blood sugar. And okay. that will reduce the load on the sugar system, okay? Oh, that helps and, a lot, believe me. Okay, lots, okay, good. <laughs> okay. Lots of water after pasta and after rice. And also use the sweeties after pasta and after rice. Get her on the Healthy Start Pack, and that'll get her her magnesium and vitamin C, which are very important for sugar processing. She may want to throw in the Ultimate Selenium, which can help with okay. sugar processing. Go Have her go get some MSM sulfur a thousand milligrams a day. I love alpha lipoic acid. That's also very important for sugar processing. You may want to consider pregnenolone and or DHEA, as I was telling our last caller, David, a okay. um, hundred milligrams a day of the pregnenolone and, and a 50 milligrams, a, I'm sorry, five milligrams a day of the DHEA, five to 10 milligrams a day of the DHEA. Now, if she has hot flashes, that's awesome. And why do I say that? Because when she no when we start to treat her, she's going to notice her hot flashes are going to get, are going to diminish, and she'll know she's on the right track. You follow okay. me? The yes, hot I flashes do. are going to be diagnostic for her. Also, okay. insomnia, jitteriness, any menopausal symptoms should be used as a diagnostic tool. When they get worse, you're on the wrong track. When it gets when they get better, you're on the right track. You ever play that game hot cold when you were a kid? Yeah. Hot 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 cold cold cold. Okay. So yeah. when you got hot flashes. Or, or insomnia or jitteriness or anxiety or she's losing her hair, she's getting cold, 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 cold. When she starts to notice her hot flashes are diminishing and she has less anxiety, her hair and skin are improving, etc., she's getting on the right track. So that's how you're going to use those symptoms, which ordinarily would be drugged away if you go to a doctor, as a diagnostic tool. So all of the nutritional supplements that I just gave you, she should start to notice her hot flashes are diminishing, and that's her indicator that her hair and her skin are improving as well. Okay. Got to move, Frank. That's all we thank, have time thank for. Thank you, Pharmacist Ben. God bless thank you. Thank you, brother. I appreciate, I appreciate the kind words. Take care, man. All right. That's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. Tomorrow we'll continue talking skin health, hyaluronic acid health. We'll tell you how you can really upregulate hyaluronic acid without using these silly topical hyaluronic acid skincare products. 844, I'm sorry, 866-735-2470 is the phone number if you want to join the Brightside Ben team. Love to have you aboard. We'll talk to you all tomorrow, friends. Have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular, beautiful day. Bye for now.